Shalom Yashala. I'm going to start by giving all praise, all glory, all honor, all blessing, all truth, all wisdom belong to our power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, Yahquakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us will wear and will will wear to the Yahquakodash and salutation to you, Akiam, that's in Hawis and Bowis, doing this work in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth and much respect unto the elect and doful elect sons and daughters of Yashallah that step into the way of righteousness in the name of Yahweh Wa Yahusha Mashiach Shalom 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 to this lesson it's about woe to him that built a town with blood who shall declare his way to his face and repay him what he have done and this is the story of Thanksgiving and Babylon, aka America, aka spiritually Sodom and Egypt, right? Where uh, where Esau, Edom, the so-called white men, have slaughtered and have killed millions of Native Americans, and have a celebration uh, holiday for that, right? And our people, being simple-minded and wicked, have uh, have consented unto this man. Right? When they see a thief, they consent it unto him. That's exactly a lot of our people have done. And Esau Edom, when they give thanks unto the Lord, they think the Lord is with them. Right? Let's get the scripture real quick. You see? Let's go to uh, Psalm 50. A Psalm 50 verse 16 But unto the wicked God said What I have to do to declare my statutes And that those should have stick my covenant in thy mouth What the people have done They have taken the covenant of God into their own And in their mouth And in, in, in their hand right See they take the covenant of the Most High They take the Bible and put it in their mouth And that's why they give thanksgiving unto the Lord right Unto God Offer unto God thanksgiving And pay thy voice unto the Most High and call upon me in the day of trouble. Those people were in trouble. They were in trouble. Because they want they come to, to someone land. And steal those land and oppress the people. When the people rebel against them. Guess what? They massacre. They, they, they cause a massacre of all those things. They, they, they cause a mass slaughter of those people. Okay? And now they go up there and give thanks to the Mosai. See? Because they think in their hand. That the Messiah was with them, right? But unto the wicked, God said, What I have to do to do to declare my statutes, or that thou should stick my covenant in thy hand, seeing thou hear this instruction, and cast it my heart behind thee. When thou say as a thief, then thou consented, consented with him, and has been partaken with adultery. That's exactly what our people have done. Not only when they say as a thief, then consented with them, right? And I've been particle with adulteries, those people adulteries, the all kind of religion out there, right? And our people have, the, have, have been particulars of, of adulteries out here. Though give us that mouth to evil and that tongue for him to see, that's exactly what Esau you don't have done. Their mouth, uh, they put a uh, fake news out there that say hey, the Native American attacked them and the presidents to go out there and, and kill thousands, if even millions of people in the process of lie and deceit. Those cities and speakers against thy brother, those slain is thy own mother's son. That's exactly what Esau have done. He slander with us, he speak against us, he create lies and deceit. Those things I have do, do done, and I kept silence. Do taught us that I was altogether such as one as thyself. They think the Lord was those people who, who, who was with them. But I will prove thee and set them in order before thy eyes. That's exactly what the Lord is doing. The so-called black Lat Latinos and American, the Lord is setting us in order before this man's eyes. And they can't take it no more because they've been reproved, they've been corrected. If they, if the wall is knowing that they, they could have been uncovered, right? The shame is showing that those people have been lying for a very long time. Now consider this, ye that forget God, 
lest I tear you in pieces and there are none to deliver. See? They forget that the Lord is a good, that the Mosai Yahweh by Hashem is the God of justice. But the Lord is gonna, gonna tear them to pieces, right? And there be none to deliver. They're not gonna be able to deliver them in those times, right? And let's bring the a couple articles that I have about those uh, demons out here. This the people was right. Thanksgiving, genocidal history continue amid family gathering and celebration. Another Thanksgiving call, Thanksgiving, and many indigenous circle come and goes, but this bloody background forever lingers on. There's no getting around the Christian history once it is embedded in the psyche of those of us. Who know better? The queens and queens are meant to mean blood. It's a bloody history of uh of Thanksgiving in Babylon, aka America, especially in Canada too. Canada still went the same thing too. I think for one minute that the Canadians have the the East saw Edom. No amount of family gathering and past the turkey and pumpkin pie can erase the colonial elephant sitting so ambiguously in the womb. Old habits are so hard to break. You see, it's the old habits of Isa, you know. You see, cooking a land, a cooking mass murdering, and then and, 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 and then celebrate those things and have those children of those people celebrate with him, right? And hold hand. And now that we know this truth, we're not gonna hold hand with this man. We're not gonna be destroyed with this man. We're not gonna concern it to a thief and a murderer. Even though millions hopefully are aware of the true narrative of this infamous so-called holiday, it's a so-called holiday because it's naturally a holiday. See? It's a worst holiday, it's a worst day. Okay? That does not slow down the family assembly and feast. Origin of the Thanksgiving holiday at the risk of being repetitious. I must recount the quote origin of the Thanksgiving of popular culture in night in 1637. There was a horrific massacre of over 700 peacock indigenous men, women, and children by the soldiers of the Massachusetts Bay Colony. That's what they said, 700. Probably like two, three thousand people. He saw all this break down, the number down to a small, to marginal number. Well, he saw was to, he slaughtering people with the guns. He was doing, a, a, I call it, biological warfare against a Native American. Okay, and a lot of the so-called Native American was was you know some of them was so-called black people, so-called dark skin people with woolly hair that that they call uh, African American, and a lot of so-called African American America actually native, native to this land. Right? This is not aptly called the mystic massacre. Many of the hapless victims were burned alive, and recognition of this victory. Governor went up, proclaimed a day of Thanksgiving for the returning soldiers. It was the first Thanksgiving, you see? With all those slaughter, the, the massacre they done to thousands of Native Americans. That's not the first massacre. That's the, there's like thousands of massacres against the Native American in this land of our people, the Northern Kingdom of Yashal of God, right? And then they proclaimed that, 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 that victory to a Thanksgiving, right? That's exactly what they have done. Let's bring another article. That's not the first article. Just Patawami.org. Okay, this is a Native American uh, uh, site, right? The true dark history of Thanksgiving. Although many Patawami and other across the United States celebrate Thanksgiving, the factual history behind the holiday is something to be less thankful for. While communing uh, with love ones and showing appreciation for the bounties and gifts provided is one positive aspect of the national holiday, teaching are false. Those teaching things are false out here, right? Yeah, shall I, right? A lot of those teachings are false. And they know it. It's a false pretense. If they can lie about those things, what else did they lie about? And they can, that governor give thanks, thank, eh, give thanks 
to the massacre that they have done, right? Let's stop right here and, and point out from the scriptures, man. Zechariah 11 verse 4 Thus said the Lord Yahweh power Fit the flock of the slaughter Whose possessors lay them And hold themselves not guilty See a, a, the, the, the Native American at that time Were on the siege They were being possessed They, they were being telling uh, To make a covenant with Esau Edom And those Picot Indians Then a, 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 a Paquat engine that, a, a Native American They didn't want uh, to make uh, 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 a covenant, but yet they're under siege. The days uh, could have been over uh, at any time, and on those days, a lot of those Native American that got killed, uh, the Northern Kingdom, the Church of God, that got killed. On that day, uh, some of them were sleeping, some of them have uh, they, they have no uh, no recognition of wars going on, no declaration of wars going on in Israel, either, right? Before you could fight, a some someone is supposed to declare a, a state of a uh, 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 declaration of war, right? But Esau didn't do all that because Esau cannot fight uh, a man or a man of war. He cannot fight a guerrilla war, okay? Because he will lose. Let's state five again. The Christ chapter chapter eleven verse five, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty, and they that sell them, blessed be the Lord. Blessed be Yahweh for our witch and their own shepherds pity them not. See, before that, that massacre, the Illinois Native American was captured and went brought uh, to England and Spain and all those lands. Because it, 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 at one time, one of those, uh, those Native American, uh, that was a medium man for a, a, a between men uh, for those uh, contracts, a covenant that they make, uh, uh, I call this thing, uh, with, uh, with Esau Edom. What was one of those slaves that they brought to England that speak the language and that was brought back? Okay, I mean, like you, you can say it sell out, right? A people that a, a young man that was raised in the custom of Esau, you know, the custom of the Greek, if, if you put it bluntly, right? And those people are saying, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and this own shepherd pity them not. And that's how Esau, 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 you know, got rich. Uh, 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 of the land, of of the slaving, of 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 the so-called Native American, and the so-called Black, which is at the tribe of Judah, and the American is from the Northern tribe, uh, the tribe of God, right? For I will not pity the inhabitants of the land, said the Lord, but lo, I will deliver the man, everyone, into his neighbor's hand, into the hand of his king. See, hey, at one time, hey, Judah said they got one king, but Caesar. Guess what? Caesar is the so-called white man. He saw Edom. And Esau is, Esau is your king. You, you, you ask for that. And now your king is destroying you. you the Lord give, 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 give you onto the hand of your enemies, the, a, a, the hand of your king. See, and that's exactly what our power, Yahweh, by Hashem, our Shai, have done in the, in the latter days, right? Let's go to Isaiah. 42 and the Lord have done that because of all the iniquities especially the Northern Kingdom have done in this land they have never repented uh, they forget about their power and the Lord went on uh, destruction upon them for a uh, bunch of curse the curse of Deuteronomy fall upon them okay uh, for Isaiah 42 and 22 for this is the people warb and spoil it in American have been warb and spoil out here destroy they are all of them slay in holes. You see, they put in a holes. It can be a pit, it can be a trap. They put them in a reservation camp. They put them in reservation. That's a hole right here. And they are hid in prison houses. See, the so called black Latinos and the American uh, are hid in prison houses out here. Okay? They are for a prey and none deliver for a spoil. And none say we stole. See, they take our land. They take the land of the Native American. They, they take our nationality away from us. They beat our nationality away from us. They stole everything that we had. But they never say we stole. 
will who among you will give a to this until those say a who am I to until those declare that prophecy but who among you will give ears to it and now now you know that uh yashala you so-called black latinos and american didn't give ear unto those things who will hearken and hear for the time to come because for this, those those things that was declared eh, those prophecy that was declared was for a time to come wasn't back then was for this time right now that we see right now who gave jacob for his poor and israel to the robbers you see jacob is it, the whole 12 tribes okay the lord give us unto the hands of the robbers and esau is the main robbers of the on this earth and the lord will give us for his poor to be to be destroyed to be to be a degenerate plant out here did not the lord yahweh by hashem yahushai he against whom we have sinned we have sinned against the lord that's who we have sinned against not anyone else we have sinned against the Messiah because we need to keep his statutes and his commandment because the lord gave the law and we broke the law we broke the covenant see for they will not walk in his ways neither were they obedient unto his laws you see for not being obedient to his laws hey the lord give us into the hand of the, our enemies see so we so called black latino american we were given into the hands of our enemies because we are now obedient to the law statutes and commandment of the most high see therefore we are put put upon him the fuel of his anger and the strength of battle and he has set him on fire when about you see the native american was burned see burned alive it will burn alive to put send them on fire out here he has set them on fire one about and he knew not and it burned him yet he lay not to heart you see the so-called native american most of them no they don't believe in the most high yeah, how power by they don't want to come back they don't repent even when the lord sent them on fire they didn't put it to heart they didn't, they didn't put it to remembrance and say to themselves let's go as a whole nation of people and tribes hey they don't even repent see and say to themselves hey we must have done something against uh, uh the power our power for him to judge us like that nah they didn't put to heart like that hey because it's not in them for them to repent okay but guess what the destruction is coming for for the nation that have done this to israel okay war and destruction war to the bloody city who go to him that build a town with blood out here okay let's get that let's go to abacook Let's add 10. Hey, Abu 2 verse 10. Do have consulted and shame to thy house by cutting of many people and have sinned against thy soul. For the stone cry out of the wall and the beam of the timber shall answer it. Woe to him that build it a town with blood. And for, for, for Esau to do this, they build a town with blood to build America, aka Sodom in Egypt, aka Babylon with blood. A, have been shame unto them okay this is a shame history okay what to him that built the town with blood and establish a city by iniquity behold is it not yahweh power of hosts that the people shall labor in the very fire and the people shall wear with themselves for the very for very vanity hey yo it the same thing they have done for for all those blood they have shed up on this earth hey Guess what, man? Hey, they're gonna be labeled on the very fire. The, the very fire that they have set upon this earth, they're gonna be destroyed by the, that the very fire, by the very sword that they, the, that the Lord have given them as a blessing. Okay, that's exactly what's coming for those people, man. Woe to them. And the Lord is not playing out here. That's the end of the day. Let's go to Micah 2 and 1. Micah chapter 2, verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and walk evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. See, woe to them, they've devised iniquity. This is a, 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 a wicked thing they have devised. Why? To go against those uh, people of the land, their own land, and destroy them. And it cause mass extinct, a, a extinction of, of a group of people. And think we're not going to pay for that. And they covet fields and take them by violence. And when they take that field of the Pico tribe, right? Hey, 
probably the next year or the or, or the next week or the next month they all say and then and then land for sale man i said they show all those people they say engine land for sale they have the courage fear and take them by violence and houses and take them away so they oppress a man in his house even a man in his heritage see this land was given to them to, to, to god by the most high hey but hey, he saw Edom come up there and, and take it they oppress him you so-called black latino american you're under siege you are prisoner of war out here and we're being oppressed and you don't even know it because surely oppression make a wise man mad but it gives the sword a heart but a lot of people doesn't see it that way right and that's exactly what's going on here and and, and a war to the bloody city man let's go to uh uh near home a three and one right that tweet this one woe to the bloody city it is full of lies and robbery they pray they party not see this is a lie that i've told about thanksgiving for a very long time the lie the lie i've never departed and the robbery i've never departed because they are never they give back what they have robbed they are not they have not tell the truth of the lie that, 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 that they have told right the nose of a whip and the nose of the rattling of the wheels and the prancing horse and the jumping chariots see slavery is still an, uh, an effect oppression is still an effect in babylon but they don't acknowledge it because it's, it's because it's in the power of their hand because they pass laws and and, and they have the they have the, the education system which is called a miseducation out here of the people and that's with all those lies and robbery because with 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 the power of of the, of the pen they have stole millions of lands a, a from the so-called native american so-called black and latinos right they make the law uh the law of justice out here they make their strength the law of justice out here it, with the laws with the pen that's how they not only with the gun but they use the laws as a, as a weapon in Babylon exactly what we see all right and let's go to proverb uh, 4 and 16 Proverbs 4 verse 16 for they sleep not except they have done mischief you see they don't sleep they're taking off ways uh, to, to do to do evil man to do iniquity they they, they 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 don't sleep uh they make laws to cause grievance unto the people's the laws of the people the pre-crabs laws are here right this this in their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall and with their laws touches and commandment that they, 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 they they're giving uh the prescribes and, and their land the ordinance they're giving up on in their land hey they cause a lot of people to fall and they make uh, uh thanksgiving a holiday and by you so-called black latinos and american you, because you are Allah, you celebrate those things uh, uh uh you are falling because you consented unto the wicked man and you should repent for that and that's the truth of the matter for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence that's because it's ending to the wickedness man and drink the wine of violence they're happy with shedding blood they're happy for shedding in innocent blood out here and they don't give a damn and they go out there and celebrate it even when they know the truth the true definition of thanksgiving and a lot of people are wicked with them too because they're concerning in them because they know the wicked ways of Esau Edom and that's why they have to pay man and and a lot of people are, are, are scared to stand up because uh it was in them to do so right they they, they cannot tell Esau saw them to their face what they have done man because it's not in them to do so right and let's go to uh some 
94 and 16 and that's what the lord has said on men to go and how he's embarrassed to declare it and to make uh videos and to tell Esau to his face man and to stand up uh psalm 94 verse 16 who will rise up for me against the evil doers who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity that's our job is to stand up for the word of your power power by shimmy our shy and against the workers of iniquity see unless the lord yahweh by hashem yahushah have been my help my soul have almost dwell in silence if the lord wasn't our help we almost stay in silence out here and that's exactly we see our people we so-called black latin american you that is simple-minded you that are uh, 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 devoid of uh, uh, of understanding that's exactly what you're doing on this on, on today by uh, 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 by uh by celebrating uh, on this wicked holiday man you stay silent you're scared of Esau Edom we understand this man is a violent man this man is a bloody man this man have the power to kill man we understand that but hey you have, you have to you have to you have to stand up for righteousness sake man but I will refuse to stand up for righteousness until the day right Let's go to a Job 21 and 31. Job 21 verse 31. Who shall declare his way to his face? Who shall repay him what he have done? As you can see, Yash Allah. Who shall declare his way to his face? Who's going to do that? If not the men of Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushua, if not the prophets, if not the teachers, if not the apostles, Who's gonna do that? Those wicked jakes out there? Those pay actors down there? None of them gonna do that. Who will repay him what he have done? Who's gonna repay this man for what he have done to Yasha Allah? Yet shall he go to the grave and shall remain in the tomb. See? This man gonna remain in the tomb out here. The Lord's gonna bring this man to the grave. Look, how power by Hashem Yahshua gonna destroy this man? It's exactly what we see, Yahshua Allah. Destruction is coming for this man. For it is waiting also. Better is the a better is the end of a thing than the beginning, right? Hey, Esau is in uh, is in is in the end of his kingdom, and we are at the end. Yahshua Allah is at the end of his suffering, right? Let's get that scripture real quick. Let's go to Ecclesiastes 7. Uh, Ecclesiastes 7, verse 6, verse 7. Surely oppression make a wise man mad and a gift to show the heart. And that's why you see our people uh, destroy right now. They don't see what's wrong with celebrating things, things killing, things giving, because it's not in them to see those things. Because a gift, a, a, so giving them jobs, a bit card. They have a feel good story. They love uh, wickedness they didn't like. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof, and the patient in spirit is better than the pride in spirit. Okay. A lot of people are patient, you know, they don't like suffering. Patient means to be to suffer. You know, to suffer. They, they, they want to be in happy, in a happy land. They don't see what's they don't see the wickedness of things going on around them. They, they don't want to suffer. Not even a, a day, an hour, a month, and years, they don't see that in themselves. Right? Because they're pride in spirit. They were to celebrate uh, a, a, the day of the pride. Because it's the pride thing for Esau to celebrate this thing. Right? But guess what? This destruction is coming for Esau Edom at the end of the day. Hmm? Numbers. Let's go to numbers. And this destruction is coming. Swiftly for Esau. Let's go to Numbers. Uh, 
Numbers 35, verse 33. Numbers 35, verse 33. So you shall not pollute the land where any are, for blood defiled the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein. Brought the blood of him that shed it. He saw you know, shed a lot of blood in this land in America, and the, the blood that been shed have defiled the land, and for the land to be cleansed. He saw blood have to be shed, and the Lord gonna shed his blood, the Lord gonna destroy him. Because the Lord has I, 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 I put a snare for him. The Lord has stayed a snare for this man, and destruction is coming for them, right? And there's no way to, to run. Right? Let's go to Isaiah 14 and uh, 21. Isaiah, let's start at 20. Thou shalt not be joined with them in Baal. Because thou have destroyed thy land and slain thy people, the seed of evil doers shall not shall never be renowned. Those people are evil. And then in the in, in the seed of evil doers, those people, the people that come after them, their sons, their daughters, they're never gonna be renowned upon this earth. Esau eat them to so called women, they're never gonna be renowned upon this earth. After it, it the Lord bring its destruction, they, this man will never come into power anymore. Right? Verse 21 Prepare slaughter for his children. For the iniquities of their fathers, that they do not rise, they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the wall with cities. It the Lord's parents mighty slaughter for this man, and it's for his sons and daughters, right? For all their is descending, for all they have done upon this earth, man. And they're not gonna fill the, the earth with cities out here anymore, and it's over for them. Nor fills the face of the wall with cities. Never again. And they feel the world with cities out here. For I'll rise against them, said Yahweh, power of force. The Lord says, gonna rise up against, against him. See? It's the Lord, Yahweh, power by saying, Yahweh, side, gonna, gonna do all those things. Yahshua, don't have to raise a finger. And cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, said Yahweh, power. See? The Lord's not gonna leave any. Progenitor of, of Esau, you're not gonna leave any seed of the Babylonians, which Esau Edom. Babylon the Great is, is uh, ruling, Esau is ruling over Babylon the Great, which is America. Until we're gonna bring destruction upon this place. Okay? I will make it a possession for the barren and pools of water, and I will sweep it with the bosom, with the bosom of destruction, said Yahweh power. They are gonna bring mighty destruction upon Babylon, and Babylon is not never gonna gonna rise again, and Esau is never gonna rise again. The so-called white man, Esau, Edom, never gonna rise again in power, because the destruction that they are gonna bring upon them, upon their children, upon their seed, to never rise again. Okay. Let's close with that, right? Let's go that to scriptures, Jeremiah chapter thirty, verse sixteen. Jeremiah chapter 32, chapter 30, verse 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. All thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. They that spoil thee shall be for a spoil. And all they that pray upon thee will I give for a prey. Hey, Esau have prey upon us. Esau have spoil us, have destroyed us, have robbed us. And Esau Edom is going to be robbed and going to be spoiled at the end of the day. Because the Lord has spoken it. Thus said the Lord Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushai. Okay? I will restore health unto thee, and I will rid thee of the wounds, said Yahweh power, because they called thee an outcast, saying the desire who no one seek it after. Hey, they destroy the American. They, they say, hey, hey, don't see them. them to them, they don't see the God of, 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 of Israel, the, the God of Jacob, the God of Judah. They don't see those things. The God of Shem, they don't see those things. But the Messiah is going to help us. The Messiah is going to restore us. It's not for the for the hidden to restore us. It's the Messiah Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushai that's gonna restore us. And by restoring us, gonna bring the destruction of Esau Edom, the so-called white man at the end of the day. Why? Right? Because why? Because Esau Edom have never hated blood. So blood gonna pursue this man. Right? Let's get let's get to that scripture real quick. Let's go to Ezekiel, man. Ezekiel 35. Ezekiel 
Ezekiel 35, verse 5. Moreover, the word of the Lord come unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it, and say unto it, Thou said Yahweh power. Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee. I will stretch out my hand against thee. I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy city waste, and thou shalt be desolate. And thou shalt know that Yahweh power, because thou have a perpetual hate, and I shed the blood of the children of Israel. You shall shed the blood of the children of Israel. You so called black Latino American. You are the sons and daughters of Yahshua Allah. And Esau Edom have shed our blood by the force of the sword. See? Esau have shed our blood by the sword and, and the gun and that was used in the massacre of the Pico tribe and all those other tribes that, that Esau Edom have destroyed was by the sword because the gun is a, is, a, is a sword. It's a killing instrument and that's what you do with the sword. Esau, you do the killing with the sword. Right? And biological warfare that Esau have done against Yasha Allah, right? And the time that of the calamity and the time that the iniquity have an end, our iniquity have an end, and Esau is coming with figure right now with all those biological warfare they have done and, and the, the gun, the missile they gonna shoot against us, right? Therefore, as I live, said Yahweh power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall proceed thee. See thou have not hated blood, even blood shall proceed thee. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate and cause for men that pass it out and him that return it. I will fill his mountain with his slain men and thy hills and thy valleys and all thy rivers shall thy fall that are slain and with the sword. I will make thee perpetual desolation and thy city shall not return and you shall know that I am Yahweh. See, Yahweh will destroy, will destroy Esau Edom, Mount Seir. And the cities will never return again. That means will never return into power. Because they are said, those two nations, those two countries, shall be mine and will possess it. Whereas, whereas the Lord was there. See, they are possessed Judah, the northern kingdom, and the southern kingdom. Those two countries, those two people. And, and the Lord, for that, the Lord going to destroy Israel, Eden, for the violence against Jacob, for the violence against that body of Jacob. Shimshot Pasidi, Kala Yah Bashim Yah Shai, for it's the word of Yahweh power Bashim Yah Shai at the near days, till you're gonna destroy Isa Edom for all you have done against Yahshua Allah, for all you have done against the men's and daughter, against the elect of Yahshua Allah, man. Yahweh power Bashim Yah Shai is not gonna spare this man. Destruction is coming for Isa Edom at the end of the day. And with that, I hope you brothers and sisters was edified. I'm going to close this lesson by giving all praise, all glory, all honor, all blessing, all truth, all wisdom belong to our power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us will well and will will well to the Akwakudash and salutation to you, Akiam, that's in how we bow is doing this work in truth and sincerity to at the four corners of the earth and most respect unto the elect and to full elect sons and daughters of Yahshua Allah that step in the wave watch that's in the name of Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh Shamashiach, Shalom, Shalom.